there are some misconceptions about listening and hearing i have explained that listening is both physiological and cognitive act since the beginning of this uh, session and uh, the first interaction with you i have used the word cognitive so you should uh, be conscious of this word i define listening is both physiological and cognitive act whereas hearing is only physiological and natural phenomenon why natural phenomenon you eat because you are hungry is there anyone who eats without hunger or feeling hungry no so you hear because you have ears but you seldom listen you listen only when you want to listen someone when you want to give some feedback to what you have listened in this way and therefore i define listening is both physiological and cognitive act physiological because the ears you have i have people have and cognitive act means somewhere it is related to the mindset somewhere it is related to our physiological entity of mind called brain there are the hemisphere in the brain in human brain that works behind how listening gets conversion of its own its own self into the idea and comes to the lip but hearing is a natural phenomena because you are sitting in a room for example and the noises come the sounds come from outside yet you are studying at the time of studying nobody is speaking to you but at the time of listening at the time of studying you are listening to what you are reading at the time of listening to someone if some sounds are coming or the sound comes from somewhere and uh, the sound hinders you to listen the person whom you intend to listen to you give more effort to listen to the person for example you are sitting at a railway platform the train come and a whistle happen you engage yourself in a important communication with someone you attend a person whom you are communicating in fact the person with whom you are engaged in a communication why because because uh, because your focus is there because your intention is there so listening and hearing both are different another uh, point that can differentiate listening from hearing is listening is reflexive like you listen someone and some idea comes it react it is reactive listening is reactive creative comprehensive activity of an individual another point to differentiate is listening is an attention required intentional act attention required intentional act whom do you attend do you attend the whistle or phenomena say in life it reflects it reverberates whereas hearing is not hearing needs no attention no intention it is a natural phenomena as if you are hungry you need food you have ears you will hear whatever the sound is another point is listening is a speaker's point of view inspired act no doubt when you listen you focus the person whom you are listening to and you frame your ideas only due to the listening act was an act that inspire you to frame your feedback what you have heard so you have to understand that speaker's point of view is important at the time of listening have some ideas but those ideas should not overestimate the person whom you are listening another point that different and listening is listening inspires extension to a talk in the form of questions queries and additional information you gather about the talk of a speaker you listen to hearing yields nothing hearing is a distinguished listening from hearing is listening ear act needs emotional and intellectual engagements every time for example the sound of in dialogues of the speaker whereas hearing needs not any psychological engagement thus hearing is a neutral act passive listening a little attentive act and active listening is highly responsive act in human communication in this line i have differentiated three important concepts the concept of hearing the concept of passive listening the concept of active listening hearing is entirely neutral means it doesn't affect passive listening you hear but you are less attentive you say okay fine you are listening because you are pleasing someone or uh, you are not letting the speaker down and that's why you are listening it is active listening to be indulged in communication and that involvement represents the process of listening which includes hearing plus attention 
plus understanding plus retention and recalling plus interpretation plus responses and all these are the constituents of listening or active listening and this slide the process of listening also reflects how listening inspires your speaking skills now i shall discuss the barriers to listening skills what barriers are there effective listening they are social assumptions psychological defensiveness and false ego ecological or environment distractions personal barriers linguistic barriers these barriers disturb the process of communication let us discuss the social assumptions social assumptions are highly inspired by the family background the upbringing play important role there that make you assumptive means mm -hmm. the way you are brought up you have been living in a family and the members of family are treated uh, you mm -hmm. same your assumptions would be so somewhere sometimes assumptions due to family background and you do not want to listen someone and disinterestness begins from there only mm -hmm. somebody speaks to you but you are very much uh, neutral and you don't have any thing to speak after uh, what you listen to psychological barriers defensiveness and false ego that you don't want to you are you are stubborn you don't want to listen someone and the moment when someone is uh, speaking to you you think you start feeling in yourself that someone is suggesting you advising you and your false ego restricts you to imbibe the idea from other sides so psychological barrier also stops you to think about what you have listen to ecological and environmental distractions are there ecological for example you are sweating in the class and you are not able to concentrate what the teacher is teaching you you are shivering with cold and how will you maintain you are not able to listen so seasonal issues are there the sounds are not restricted while you listen so unnecessary sounds the seasonal issues and noises are somewhere ecological factors that affect your listening personal see there are two kinds of upbringing i have explained to you in the class sometimes one upbringing is definitely given by your patrons and the parents another upbringing happens after you come in the society and when you start living your life individual and there you learn a lot you you learn a lot through adoptions you start adopting someone and you start imagining a life which you want to see or which you are visualizing so and this this personal barrier starts from there so this personal barrier have little influence it is uh, influenced a little i say uh, by the family background or cultural background or some other backgrounds or some other influences but it is scattered by your own individual self developing uh, practices and exercises so intolerance is one of the examples of that negative attitude and language that that you you scatter in your life and habits of intrusion these three are the personal i categorized these three as personal barriers that restrict you to become effective listener stage barrier and i came here to work and uh, someone speaks hindi and in that case i am not able to understand why because of the geographical variations are there the phonemic variations are there and these phonemic variations are affected by the practices of speakers of that particular regions so somewhere phonetic variations also cause you not to understand the person whom you listen to so linguistic barrier is also one of the barriers that uh, badly affect your listening question happens sometimes when you are listening someone and uh, people th say that you are not uh, attending him or her so the question is what are the overt signs of active listener how can i know how can you know when you speak to someone and how can you guess that someone is having interest in listening to you how can you get the sign this slide is about this uh, while listening show your appropriate body movement people feel uncomfortable talking with highly controlled and neutral person suppose i am speaking to you and you don't show your interest 
how would you show your interest through the body movement through the gestures through the postures verbal encouragers like okay yes make the speaker be confirmed of that the listener or the audience is active to the speaker thank you stay home stay safe